today's referee, and I'm just going to be honest with you, man, with a few exceptions of here, there's in between, it's it's the shits. I mean, it is. Yeah. Well, fuck, man, yeah. let's get into that. Like, you know, uh, be more uh, a lot specific about, like, something the refs do today that, that, that just fucking drives you crazy. Well, like the, uh, the, like the five count, like the tag teams, for example, like when re- wrestlers are supposed to have till five and they break that all the time and they get buried and rep, search like that. It, it's 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 all that, Renee. I mean, it's a dude, it's it's gotten so far to hand that these referees did the ultimate sin that I was never told. OK, and the, 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 the number one sin about that is this. No one cares about your ass as a referee, except the people you work with. No fans do. And if a couple of them do, then so what? It's a couple. No right. one pays a fucking dime to see your ass at all. Right. Third of all, you're not a star. You're part of a puzzle. You're not the fucking star. I've never been a star ever in my career. Right. Was I Was I well known? That's something different because I was in it so long. It did yeah. many big matches. But that doesn't make me a star. Mm. The, the heads on these referees nowadays can't even fit through my fucking doorway over there. Because they think yeah. that, they're, <laughs> that they're stars, that they're that they're drawing tickets. Listen, nobody's buying a ticket to see your ass. So okay, so are are, are you uh, are you opposed to naming names of certain referees in the business that are guilty of such travesties? <laughs> I mean, you know, here here's the thing. Uh, no, I'm not. By the way, um, nobody can hire me and nobody can fire me. So fuck you. Um, but the passion, the passion, I can feel it. Well, I mean, it, it does anger me, man, because I care so much about, you know, what I thought that me and others have built. Yeah. And it's just being torn down. I mean, it is. It's it, it's a if you ever watched AEW wrestling. All right, you're both shaking your heads. I'm assuming everybody can see this or whatever. OK, enough said. I'm done right there. So just name every one of them on that except for maybe uh, Turner, Paul Turner. Right. And Andre I'm just, Edwards, but he likes to be the ten- center of attention a lot of the times. There's specific camera shots. And she'll get herself in the middle like that, it, it, dude. It's 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 redundant. She gets online, and and I like these people I'm talking about. I like Aubrey. I actually trained Aubrey out in Portland. She was going by the name of Girl Hebner. That was her name. Girl Hebner was her was her name. Right. Oh wow! And um, I helped train her out in Portland uh, okay. with WCWC. Um, so I have fingerprints on that, but they're not on that shit no more. Um, right. You know, I, I didn't teach the shit you're seeing. I taught things totally different. And she was really a decent, it could have been a very, very good referee. And she was on her way. And it's just like that she got hired at AEW probably way too soon. And it just went to her head and she forgot everything she learned and just started doing her own shit. And, you know, and it's nothing against her. I, I like, I, I want to stress, I'm not trying to beat anybody up. I care about everybody. I really, really do. But I just think that the days of being told that you're not doing things right are gone. And I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I've been told so long, so long before it finally clicked that I was doing shit wrong, you know, and, and, and my dad was the biggest asshole to me growing up about being stiff on me, telling me how shitty I was and how this was bad and how that was bad. These referees aren't hearing it. And if nobody tells them why they're going to change. So that's why I can't blame Aubrey. That's why I can't blame Bryce who jumps around like a fucking chimpanzee in a fucking circus. Um <laughs> You know, and, and and once again, Bryce has heard this, and if he hasn't, he'll hear it again because this will be like the fifth time I've said it, or more. You know, it, 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 he's a great guy. Once again, a great guy, and kid has the all the potential in the world to be a good ref. It's just the little things that if he could just fix and fine tune would make the world of a difference, not only for the fans watching at home, but for the boys in the ring. And it's yeah. that simple. That's what we're there for. We're not there. We're, we're there to help tell a story. To give them your cues, get everybody off the air, and get out of the way of the camera shots, and get out of the way of the fans, and let them enjoy what they paid to see. That's not you. That's the boys, the story, the program. And until they figure that shit out, dude, it's just that you're going to watch the same shit every fucking Wednesday night. It ain't no better on Fridays, and ain't no better on Mondays either. It's better, but it ain't just as – it's not as bad. They're the so, worst. So you, you you see some stuff on WWE, too, that, that really – All the time. All the time. SummerSlam, there was a, there's a bunch of shit I'm getting ready to go – 